I am Dr. Sharda Jain. Today I am going to brief the population of this country on osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a systemic bone disorder characterized by low bone mass. With the result, there is an increased risk of fracture. WHO has defined osteoporosis as a bone marrow density, 2.5 standard deviation or more below the normal mean for dual energy X-ray as absorbometry called DXA, previously called DEXA scan. Risk factor for osteoporosis are female sex, age more than 60 years, family history of osteoporosis, early menopause, low BMI, smoking, sedentary lifestyle, and a long term, that is over three months, use of corticosteroid. It's important to consider the causes of osteoporosis, including many drugs. Osteoporosis is an asymptomatic disease and characterized by increased fractures at hip, vertebrae, and forearm. With very ease, elderly fracture them. Loss of height and kyphosis in elderly is one of the early manifestations of asymptomatic osteoporosis. Fracture is a real-time problem and manifestation of osteoporosis. It increases dramatically with aging and more frequent in women than men. The con conventional X-rays should not be used for the diagnosis or exclusion of osteoporosis. Public should note that. Refer for DXA when the plain fil films done for something else are interpreted as severe osteopenia. Bone mineral density should be measured by DXA scanning performed on two sites, preferably anteroposterior spine and hip. Biochemical markers of bone turnover has no role in the diagnosis or in the selection of patients for BMD measurements. What need to be done? All postmenopausal women should aim for a dietary intake of 1000 mg calcium per day. Regular weight bearing exercise must be done. And fall prevention by proper fitting shoes, using hand trails proper electric lighting in the bathrooms and the room where they are staying, non-slippery mats in the washroom, and use of sticks without shying away. Avoidance of smoking and excessive alcohol and caffeine. To be noted, may not be so relevant for we Indians, but people should know about it. What is the goal of our treatment? The goal of treatment is very clear reduction in the incidence of fractures, elevation of the fracture related morbidity and prevention of subsequent fractures. So a woman who is postmenopausal and a man aged 
50 years should take calcium 1000 to 1200 milligram plus the vitamin D 800 to 1000 international units per day. They should take alendronate 10 milligram daily or 70 milligram per once a week or they should take ibendronate 150 milligram only once a month. When they are taking bisphosphonate tablets, they should take it empty stomach with a glass of water and should not lie down for next 30 minutes. They can take it during the day provided they are four hours fasting. Whenever the kidney function tests are compromised markedly, that is GFR below 30 to 35 ml per minute, it should not be used. If they have a severe problems, they must consult the gynecologist and orthopedic experts. Duration of treatment is they have to take lifelong and monitor themselves, if not annually, perform BMD test every one to two years once they have been diagnosed osteoporosis. As for the patient education is concerned, emphasize on prevention of osteoporosis with lifestyle changes, adequate dietary intake of calcium, and regular exercise. These are very, very important. Thank you.